Hey friends. So welcome to this video. My name is Amber and I'm a music teacher. Um, I teach the violin and viola and today I'm going to be showing you how I teach my students scales. So we're going to go through a little bit of theory really quickly so that we know how these scales are related to each other. Um, we're going to be learning the relative major and the relative minor and the three different kinds of minor scales. And then I'm going to play them for you and I want you, you can also play along with me if you want, but I want you to use that opportunity as I'm playing them for you to kind of get to know the feel of the scale. And I always like to encourage my students to kind of approach this as a creative mode. So you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit. and. Um, Oh, think about maybe how you might feel if a person walked into the room and they had this vibe. For example, when you hear C major versus when you hear A minor, they're going to sound very, very different. They share the same spectrum of no sharps and no flats. On one side, we're going to have the relative major, C major, and then on the other side, we're going to have the relative minor, which is going to be A minor in this case. And there's actually three different kinds of minor scales. So um, let's just jump right into this. We're gonna need a piece of paper, or you can just screenshot this, I promise I will let you screenshot this once we've written everything down. So let's go ahead and write C major at the top here. And all we need to do, there's no sharps and no flats for C major, so we're gonna just start on a C, go up the stairs until we get to the next C, and we're gonna put in what's called the scale degrees. So the scale degrees just go right on up. We already called C number one, so we're gonna call it one again. So C is one, D is two, E is three, et cetera, until we get to C again. These are not fingerings, they're called scale degrees. So for example, in the key of C major, G is always gonna be the fifth scale degree. In the key of C major, C is always gonna be your one scale degree. So anyway, there's that. Now we're gonna jump to the opposite side of the spectrum. You can kind of think of like a yin yang, white and dark, or white and black, for example. So what we're gonna do is we're going to circle our sixth scale degree. This is the, how we're always, always gonna find the relative minor. So in this case, the relative minor of C major is A minor. So let's write that down here, A minor. And I'm gonna just start on an A and end on an A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And we'll pop in the scale degrees as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're back to one again. So um, now this is called the natural minor. You can remember it's called the natural minor because nothing has been tweaked. It's the exact same key signature, no sharps and no flats as C major. So it's the natural minor. I'm gonna put a little N over here in pink so that we can remember that this pink thing is the natural minor. And we're gonna tweak one scale degree. When we tweak our seventh scale degree here, we're gonna raise it a half step. So that's going to turn our G into a G sharp. So when you're reading music and you're, you know, running into one accidental all the time, if you're in the key of A minor, and it's just always a G sharp, it might be that you're in the A harmonic minor scale. So I'm going to put a little H over here for harmonic minor. This is actually my favorite minor scale. I love the harmonic minor scale. It's very cool sounding. And then the last one that we're going to do is called the melodic minor scale. And the melodic minor scale is the one that you're probably going to run into the most in music. So it's always gonna tweak our sixth and seventh scale degrees. We're gonna raise them on the way up, F sharp. And then from our natural minor, we would have had a G. So I'm gonna make this a G sharp. And then on the way back down the scale, when I come back down, I'm gonna lower them. So on the way back down, I'm gonna have a G natural and I'm gonna have an F natural. Okay, so just to really quickly recap, we're, today we're on the spectrum of no sharps and no flats. You have two potential keys that you could be in. You could be in C major, you could be in A minor. There's three kinds of minor scales though. The first one is the natural minor and it has the exact same key signature as its relative major. The next one is the harmonic minor, which always tweaks the seventh scale degree. 
So I just raise the seventh scale degree a half step. That turns this into a G sharp. That's the only thing we have to tweak for that one. And then the last one is the melodic minor, which I forgot to put an M here for. The melodic minor is a little bit weird because it's um, gonna raise the pitches on the way up and then it's gonna lower the pitches on the way back down. So it's kind of melodious when you go up. Our ear likes to hear the raised pitch of the six and seven scale degrees. And then when we come back down, it's gonna lower them. So it's kind of more melodious, hence melodic minor. Maybe that will help you to remember them. So I'm gonna hold this up for you to screenshot. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, and now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna pop this right on my music stand and we're gonna get to know the feel of these scales. So this is an opportunity for you to put your imagination hat on and see what the feel is. So imagine that you're an artist and you're looking at you know three different shades of blue. You've got a dark shade, you have a medium shade, and you have a really light shade, for example. You could even have like a purpley shade or a greeny shade or some other kind of shade. So that's the same thing. We have all these different major scales and all these different minor scales, but today we're experiencing C major. Why would a composer choose C major over D major, for example, perhaps? Um, perhaps it's just the feel of it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my laptop here, and what you're gonna hear is a C cello drone that my friend has very wonderfully recorded for me. And then you're gonna hear me playing a C scale. And what I'm gonna do so that you can hear the harmony of these scales, of this key really, I'm gonna play it three notes ahead. So I'm actually gonna start on an E. I'm gonna be starting on my third scale degree. And I'll just go all the way up until I get to the next E with no sharps, no flats, and then I'll come all the way back down. Okay, so you can kinda of close your eyes and maybe think about what this scale feels like, if there's a color, if there's a mood, whatever it is. Okay, so just one second. Okay, so what did you think? Sometimes it's hard to get to know the feel of a scale or to get to understand really anything unless you have some contrast. So let's switch over. I'm going to go back to the beginning here. I'm gonna turn off my C scale, turn off my C drone, turn on my A drone and turn on an A one octave natural minor scale. So I'm a little bit technologically challenged, hopefully this goes well. Okay. <laughs> okay, so same thing. Just take a breath and see if you can get to know what this one feels like. If a person walked into your space and they had this vibe, would you feel you know happy and joyful around them? Would you feel at ease? Would you feel kind of sad? You could even imagine if you listened to these collections of notes for an hour, how would you feel by the end? So here we go. We're gonna be doing the A natural minor scale, which is everything that's in pink here. And you're gonna hear the A drone on the cello, me playing the A minor scale. And I'm gonna start on a C. So I'm gonna be three notes ahead. And I'm just starting three notes ahead so that you can really get a feel for what this sounds like, what the feel is, what the harmony is. So the more notes, um, you know, the more you're gonna understand it. So here we go.
So that was the A natural minor. Let's go back to the beginning and I'm going to mute this one and unmute the harmonic minor. Now this is my favorite kind of minor scale. It's very, very interesting because what we have all the time in every kind of harmonic minor scale is you're gonna have between, and the harmonic minor is anything that's purple here. So we have our pink, we're gonna be playing that, but we're going to add a G sharp and that's it, that's our harmonic. That turns our A natural minor scale into the A harmonic minor scale. And if we think of the interval now between our F natural, pink F natural, and the G sharp, between F and G you have a whole step, but between F and G sharp, you have a, a step and a half, which is a minor third. And that's very unusual sounding. <laughs> so it's really cool. Let me pop this on. Okay, we're good to go. So there we go. Did you hear there's a little bit more salt on that one? Kind of gives you a little bit more of the flavor. And there's one more, we're gonna do the melodic minor. On the melodic minor, I think what I'm going to do, because on the way up, we're gonna be tweaking these scale degrees. On the way down, we're gonna lower them. I think if I play it in thirds, it's gonna sound a little bit weird. So I'm going to just double myself playing the A, um, the A uh, melodic minor scale. So let's go back to the beginning. And we have the melodic minor, we need that on. And we should be good to go, okay. <laughs> to know all of them. These are all of the scales that have no sharps and no flats. However, when you're in a minor key, you're going to have some accidentals appearing. Um, most likely, you're going to have um, your raised and lowered sixth and seventh scale, scale degrees um, when you're playing through pieces. Sometimes it's just all in the, the natural minor. Um, but I think tweaking the sixth and seventh scale degrees is a little bit more common because it allows the the five chord to be major um, and probably some other things, but I know that might not make any sense to anybody at the moment. <laughs> but for example, if I was to start on the fifth scale degree here, which is E, and I did an E chord, which is made out of thirds, E to G to B, um, if I have G natural, it's a minor five. If I have G sharp, which is something that's allowed for me if I'm in the harmonic or the melodic, then I have um, a major five chord. And it's just 
wonderful to have a major five chord and it also has that leading tone. Seven, the seventh scale degree is also called the leading tone. Da -da it kind of concludes at the end and our ears really like to hear that half step conclusion. So anyway, with that, I hope this was interesting. Um, I'm gonna hopefully do this for all of the scales. So you might get to know all of the shape, the sharps and all of the flats and their relative minors. So have a wonderful week and I thank you so much for watching. My name's Amber and if you're interested in, in following me, I have a website, Violin Viola Masterclass. You can contact me there for lessons. I teach so many of you all over the world, all over the US, all over the world online. And I also um, am based in Philadelphia. So, you know, I teach in person in Philadelphia as well. Um, I am active on Instagram. It's Violin Viola Masterclass. And the interesting thing that I think might be helpful for you if you're teacherless or if you need just extra help with your lessons is I have a Patreon. It's just $1 and there's a lot of content there um, to help you guys who need help um, with music, violin, viola stuff. So um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching.